Hi everyone, it's Sandy Silva with This Chick's Chalkin'. And before the video starts, I thought I'd give you a quick introduction and tell you what we're gonna be working on today. So, we are using our Baked Fresh Daily Transfer and we're using it on our six by 18 box frame. Our box frames come in three different sizes, six by 18, nine by 12, and five by seven. And on the other side, which is actually the front side, it's hot coffee, always brewed fresh. So in our house, that's an important factor. So if this looks like something you would enjoy, what you'll need is the six by 18 box frame, our baked fresh daily transfer, and the colors that I used, as you can tell, are all in the same color family. Um, I used mocha and bark and black and on the other side I used almond and sand and mocha and if those colors aren't accessible to you you can always mix colors together to get the colors that you want you don't even have to use these particular colors that's just what I chose to use you could use hot pink if you wanted to and that would be perfectly fine so I hope you enjoy uh, the video to come if you have any questions please post them in the comments course I would love it if at the end you enjoyed it if you would like it and subscribe to my channel okay thank you I hope you enjoy and I'll see you at the end good Saturday morning everybody how is everyone today it's Sandy Silva this chick's chalking so what we're doing today is the box frame which is a very rustic look I'm gonna open it up I already sliced it open but I haven't worked on one of these before and I've been very excited. It's like, it's perfect to make a cute sign. And this one, the box frame, I mean, I could see a lot of things in it, like um, the um, bouquet of flowers. It looks like you're at a, um, a florist and um, the co hot coffee and, and fresh daily really perfect for this. The size is exactly right. Absolutely adorable and the really cool thing about our box frames is that you can uh, chalk on front like this but you can also flip it over and do the back so that's what we're gonna do today and because we are coffee drinkers to say the least um, I'm gonna do the hot coffee <clears throat> here because that's probably the side we'll use the most and but I'm gonna do big fresh daily <clears throat> on the back and then I can switch it up so, let's flip it over. The colors I'm choosing, I might grab one, one more, uh, for the front at least, are um, bark, and this one's mocha. So if you don't have the exact shades that you want, maybe you have a dark and you have, you know, you have bark and you have almond, you can mix them together, and you don't need much. Um, so just mix a, cup, a little bit of it together, and this or just add a little bit of this and you get this you know, something along those lines so there's always a way and I've done it many times okay so I can't I don't think I've used this either of these yet so I'm excited to get these done and finally found a place this is the exact right size because we don't have much space between our cupboards and our we don't we have like this much space um, between our backsplash and the bottom of our cupboards. And then our cupboards go all the way up to our ceiling. So, but there are a couple spots that there's enough room for this. And I'm glad because I don't really get to hang much in there. It's, there's so many cute things to, you know, that we have that I would love to hang in there. So I'm just going to fuzz this up. Okay, so now on these box frames, they suggest waxing it, but I have had good luck without waxing it, and others have had good luck without waxing it too. Okay, so I'm going to center it, which is super easy with this one. Okay. Oops. I 
got a bubble. Bubbles are not good. So let's get those bubbles out. When you get bubbles in, uh, it doesn't lay flat. So you end up with, um, with bleeds. The paste bleeds through different areas. And these are made, just so you know, these are made for a one-time use. So you want to make sure you get it right the first time. Occasionally, I'll work on some kinds of wood and other porous things where I'm actually able to get the paste off. But there, that is like one in a hundred chance, I think, of that happening. So uh, when you work on these, you really want to make sure that you, you get it just right the first time. Now we're cooking, brewing, I guess would be right. I'm just gonna hold this up to make sure I've got it. Yep, centered, okay, good. All right, so I am gonna do mocha, right, for the hot coffee part, and then I'm gonna do bark for always brewed fresh. And let's start with the mocha. Give it a stir. I don't, it actually doesn't look like it needs it, but I'm going to do it anyway, just in case. Sure you guys can see this. I'm trying to make room and push it out as far as I can. Away we go. And just to be on the safe side, I might do a little chalk and pull just to make sure that it's going through correctly before it dries. Make sure it doesn't dry too soon. And that's just me being paranoid. That really shouldn't be happening, but I'm just worried because, like I said, it's a one-time thing. So, just gonna gently lift the, on the corner, pull it back. Fantastic. Perfect. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to lay it back down. Get our coffee done. So I'm going to lay it on, you know, on the thick side, and then I'm going to go back over and pull some of it off. And I'm going to go over this part <clears throat> so that I can get that F in the coffee. Without getting... without <clears throat> getting into the other areas. Yay. Now 
that looks, as my mother-in-law would say, that looks beauteous. That looks beauteous. So cute. It's amazing to me that you can, you know, in 10 minutes, knock out something that's so cute that I would normally have to, like, either order online or I'd have to drive down to Petaluma to go to Home Goods or maybe Marshalls in Santa Rosa, somewhere like that, a home decor store, something. Wash my hands off quick. Okay, <clears throat> set this off to the side. Now I'm going to switch to bark. I'm going to grab a mini. <clears throat> That's a little I need to mix that up a bit here. Thin it out a little bit. It's about, I think it's about the right consistency. It might be slightly thick, but I'm enjoying working with it just slightly thinner. I don't want it too thin because it will bleed if I get carried away and it's watery. I definitely don't want that. I just want to make sure, like that, just a yogurt consistency. It runs off the spoon just a little bit. <clears throat> okay, now, I'm wondering if I should do something different in here. I'm not sure what I would do. I've got to think about that. So I'll start with this and see if I want to circle back. used you know, the similar set that um, one says, but one part of it says uh, bouquets tied, you know, wrapped in tied, something like that. And the other one is fresh cut flowers. And <clears throat> I did the flower one and I did it on a <clears throat> white reclaimed cupboard door and uh, did it with black chalk and it looked looked great. I'm actually going to hang that in here. I found a spot for it. Okay, so I'm going to make sure I go over it, that I've covered everything. I didn't miss anything. And I'm thinking I might do those ends in black. So you see how when I pull the chalk off, I can just, I can see the letters through. I think that's about the right consistency. I might want to miss something here. I don't want a gap in there. <clears throat> Again, I'm going to chalk and pull because I'm going to switch to a different color and I don't want to take a chance of it drying. It. Okay, and you know one of the things I like about this are these places that it's where it looks like it's worn. That's um, built into the transfer. It's meant to look that way, so it looks like an older, more rustic sign. I think that gives a lot of character. I really like that. Okay, grab some black and a mini. Oh, I already had a mini. I had it myself. Okay. Just gonna get some on the <clears throat> tip here. Let's 
just want to make sure I covered those well. I got all of it. Didn't miss any spots. I can barely tell the difference between the black and the brown, but actually I just a subtle difference. That is stinking adorable. Yay! That's gonna look really cute in our kitchen. And so we're gonna switch to the lighter colors for this one. And I feel like those are perfect. I, I sense that that's probably why they put the Bake Fresh Daily and the Hot Coffee together is because you're gonna use similar colors for both. Cuteness. Let's get this baby off of here. I see the wind starting to pick up a little bit. I hope it's not too windy today. I want to go for a walk. Go walk over and get some errands done. Two birds, one stone. My son's going over to wash in detail. Our neighbor's car in just a couple of minutes and I bet he's just really thrilled that it's oh, got it uh, really thrilled that it's windy outside does not make for good okay so I'm gonna grab I think I'm gonna go with sand I remember sand maybe I'll do almond sand and then mocha That's it. That's the ticket. Hmm. Maybe I'll go a little bit bigger for this one. Oh, no, it actually be easier with the mini. Okay. <clears throat> now that I've worked that out. Okay. Oh, it's so cute. Well, I'm going to hang this up today. Um, I'm going to try and do it before my husband gets home because I, the five words I say that scare him the most are, where are the hammer and nails? His eyes get the size of saucers, looks like a deer in the headlights, and he goes, what are you doing? What are you hanging up? And he knows that if he doesn't jump in and do it right away, I will do it myself. And it takes 19 holes for me to get it in the right spot. Ooh, that was close. Okay, so I noticed that's, there's a little, it says there, there we go, get that off. Remember, you don't do too much either because it will stick to your transfer. It kind of sounds a little more complicated than it is where I'm talking, you don't want it too thin, you don't want it too thick. Honestly, you get you get it right away. It's um, when you're looking at it in person, you know exactly. You know, as soon as you start, start to put it on, you think, oh, that's it. There's too much here. There's a little not clear enough here. So I was start, uh, talking about Club Couture. For those of you who are interested in joining Club Couture, because you get, it's not just the, the great monthly transfers that you get. So you can, and you can use it however you want. You can put it on chalkboard, you can put it on a sign, you can use it, you know, a lot of you make it, put it on a pillow maybe, whatever you want to do. Um, you get cheaper shipping is it's $4.99 flat rate on anything you buy. So you could buy 50 pounds and you would still pay that flat rate. Plus you get benefits that even designers don't get. You get 50% off of last chance. Uh, they did that last month. I don't think it's running anymore, but they run it like seasonally. I think it is. So they're trying to, you know, last month they were, I think they were before they put some things on pause or retired them, they allowed Club Couture members to get any of those transfers for half off, which is a nice perk in itself. 
Um, there's one line for Ken. Oh, like the five dollars off the kit. They do all kinds of stuff. I can't remember. I know there's one other really biggie, and of course I've forgotten what it is. And that's Club Couture just nineteen ninety nine a month. Uh, bait fresh. Yay! So cute. I didn't even realize it was in a little bit of a semicircle. Just a little tiny bit. Okay, now I'm going to switch to sand. I'm going to grab a couple more minis. When I'm saying minis, I mean the mini squeegee. They're half of the small squeegee. I have about a thousand of them, and I swear I can never get to them. I need to come up with something else. All right. Yep, that's exactly right. Don't even need to stir it. Daily. I have a little bubble on there, so I'm just trying to push it to the side. And then I can fix it when I'm done. Okay. And since I'm switching colors, I'm going to pull that up. I just don't want to take a chance of it drying on there and drying onto my transfer instead. I'm going to do it slowly, make sure I've covered it well. Perfect. Yeah, that'll stand good enough, I think. Of course, I think this is supposed to be wheat, and that's probably that's a lighter color, but meh. My sign. I can do it how I want to. Right? Or pretend it's like rye or it's something else that's darker. Floating bubble over here still. So I'm just going to push it to the side. I'm just going to make sure it doesn't get into the design. How cool is this? You get a twofer. Baked fresh daily on one side and a hot coffee on the other. So you could switch up, and you don't have to do this. You can do two separate ones and put them one above another, which would be totally cute. But for us, this works better because this is not, this is, I only have like this much room where I'm putting it. So cute. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it too. I don't know which side I like better. Although, I gotta say, honestly, as much as we love bread and any kind of carb in this house, this is us more. Yeah, that's us. Oh, so cute, you guys. I didn't take any time. I got two signs. in, what was it, 30-ish minutes? And I'm absolutely loving them. Okay guys, Bake Fresh Daily and Hot Coffee. Absolutely loving both of those. I hope you guys do too. You know, if you don't have, you just set it on the counter like that. Totally supports itself. Perfect. Oh, you know what? With a sign, we could add a sign here. I mean, a sign. Add a, um, some sort of probably twine or something to hold it up. 
That would be cute too. Ah, so many possibilities. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys have a great Saturday. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and I will see you, talk to you soon. Bye. Hi everyone. Well, I hope you learned something new from that and I hope you enjoyed it. I love this little vintage look. It makes me feel like I'm in a, a little diner somewhere. Um, again, it's our six by 18 box frame and our baked fresh daily transfer. And that if you liked the video you just saw, please like it and subscribe. I would love that. If you're interested in taking a look at all of our products, and we do have a ton, please go to chalkcouture.com forward slash Sandy Silva. And that's S-A-N-D-I-S-I-L-V-A. Thank you so much.